Hey everyone, welcome to the open goal video. On this one, we're going to be showing you how to use that program to run the uh, PS2 game uh, Jack and Daxter. Uh, if that uh, is a game that interests you, go ahead and follow the link in the description. This page is going to take you to this uh, spot right here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the spot right here where it says Windows Launcher. So you're basically just going to go ahead and click on this one and download it. The latest version is 2.4.4. So go ahead and download that. And just a quick notes, we're going to shoot over here to the documentation installation page uh, just so I can show you some things here that you may or may not need. So obviously, you're going to need a 64-bit operating system, uh, either Windows 10 or 11. If you do have an older uh, uh, driver version and you're using AMD, you want to make sure that the version that you have is set to at least version 22.7.1. Uh, if you do have a version older than that, you're probably going to have an issue trying to get this to work. So if you want to get this to work, you're going to go ahead and, like I said, at least have this version. If not, you're going to go ahead to the AMD website for the, uh, you know, graphics drivers and download the latest version. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get this done. And obviously, you're going to need a, uh, you know, a backup of your uh, original uh, game disc. So let's go ahead and get this started. Once you have that file downloaded to your computer, you can go ahead and close the browser. Uh, normally, I open up two windows on here, one that's going to include the, uh, you know, the spot for the game itself, and then another one that is going to include the, uh, you know, the download folder where you have your items added already. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and uh, double-click on the launcher. You're going to get to this spot here. Just go ahead and click Next. Now, this is the location where it's going to default for the launcher itself. You can go ahead and leave that standard and then click next. You're going to go ahead and hit install again. And this is going to go through the steps of installing the uh, OpenGL launcher. Once that's done, uh, you can go ahead and leave this mark on here checked and go ahead and click finish. It should open the launcher up for you. You're going to hit select locale and you know, you know whatever your English, uh, whatever your language is, go ahead and click that. Now we're going to go ahead up here and uh, it's actually telling me there is an update available. So if you see that on here, go ahead and click that. And now it's showing you the versions for the uh, the tooling set we're going to need. So you want to download the latest one. So go to the version on top, which at, at this time is 2.12. So go ahead and download that. It's going to take a little bit for that to finish. Once that's done, you should see a little blue icon to the left of that window. Uh, ignore this one. This is just to delete it. It may look like an error, but that's just the way they did the icon. So once you see this on here, you should be good to go. And you should see a mark on here that I am not seeing. Save that so this may or may not work. You should actually get a little window right here. Okay, there we go. So if you don't get that, go ahead and click on here on the upper left hand side for Jack and Daxter. You're going to click install via ISO. And there we are. Once you've done that, you're going to tell it to go, well, you know, where you have the uh, game file itself. I had it in the same location, so it automatically found it. We'll go ahead and maneuver to whatever folder you have that in. Just highlight it by uh, clicking on it. Click open and it should decompile the rest of it for you and compile it. And then you should see those steps done. Once those steps are done, it should be good to go. Just wait here for that to finish. All right. So once you see all those uh, bars on top green, uh, it indicates that it's done. So you can go ahead and hit continue. So we should now be able to get this uh, on. So we can go ahead and click on play. And the, uh, you know, once this is done, it'll actually give you a, uh, you know, a graphics interface for the options. So once you go ahead and click play, you should see the game launch right away. And it looks like they have some options up here on top. So they add, they did add some new stuff up here. So if you see this on here and you need to, you know, get any of these uh, settings changed, you can do it from here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a guess. If we hit Alt and Enter, it's gonna go full screen. So I'm gonna try that. Did not. Okay, and it's actually telling us how to do it. So toggle the toolbar with the left Alt button. There you go. So that'll make that uh, toolbar disappear. And then, like I said, you can go in here and get your settings set for the display, resync, and so forth. Once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and back out. 
we'll go ahead and get this started. And it looks like it is all good to go. Let's go ahead and hit new game here. We'll run around here for a little bit. Searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. And as you can see, the game looks really, really nice. So right now I'm running at this at 1920 by 1080 with the uh, settings that you see I put on the, uh, you know, the options menu there. So as you can see, this runs really well. It looks really good. So hopefully if you guys had that game laying around and, uh, you know, you weren't able to play it for whatever reason, you know, if your PlayStation 2 didn't work, uh, you'll be able to get it going like this. If you don't have the, uh, the physical game, uh, you can always buy this game online and just do a, uh, you know, an easy dump of it. Uh, I'm going to do a video little bit later and show you uh you know what the process is you can use to get that done if you have the original disc and with that we are done with this video so hopefully you guys can make use of that if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up uh, we'll see you guys on the next video if you haven't subscribed please do so and we'll see you soon